so welcome to our next reading welcome to our new decoration purple couldn't stay away longer from the channel so i'm back doing readings <clears throat> if you hear noise in the background that's either my dog or my chair <laughs> because my chair makes funny noises so yeah this reading today is how is he feeling with um without your energy right now all right so we're talking about couples soul bonds in separation all right and we're gonna see how your person's doing what are they feeling right now um how's their energy in the separation and yeah let's do this choose one of these four decks yeah we have different decks <clears throat> that's the Edgar Allan Poe tarot. I always forget the names. That's the Dancing in the Dark tarot. That's the Santa Muerte. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, guys, choose your pile and then we start the reading, all right? And I also want to look into what can you do to improve the situation, all right? So that you feel better during the process, okay? And yeah maybe also get an outcome to the situation what's going on between the two of you okay so here we go choose your pile and then we see each other at the piles bye hello pal one the edgar Allan poe tarot that's fitting really cool to our beautiful new decoration so let's see guys How's the energy of your person right now? How's your person doing? How are they feeling in separation? We're talking about couples that are in separation or soul bonds that are in separation. Please, Spirit, give me information. <coughs> pile one, please. How is Pile one's person doing in separation? What are they feeling? How are their feelings? Yes. So I shuffled the pile. First of all, you all know my big color-coded cards. <laughs> I love this because um, I feel there's the truth in this big pile. I don't know why. I draw a lot of times. I draw like, um, yeah, you know, a lot of times it resonated. So, <clears throat> well, I hope it resonates for you. Um, always know guys those are general readings you know those readings cannot resonate with everyone so how is person one feeling in separation how are they feeling without the energy of the other of pal ones of pal one yeah how are they feeling without the energy of pal one how are they doing let's look into that <clears throat> So first of all, I'm going to draw a card from this. <clears throat> Swedish blue. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> well, the color, look at this. If you look at the color, the color actually, for me, this color looks neutral. You know, this looks like as if the person, I even wear a shirt in that color, almost the same color. <laughs> so that's funny. Um, <clears throat> so I feel this Swedish blue color here. You know, it's, it's like from the outside, this person is as always, you know, people in their surroundings, friends, family, they wouldn't recognize that um, your person is feeling blue. But for me, this feeling blue means that there <clears throat> I feel a uh, not really sadness but this dullness this um, almost like when you are in shock like this how do you say that mm, it's like when you I try to um, think of phrases or words how I can describe 
when you um, you know you you experience some kind of shock and you you get into this feeling of mm, just dullness, just nothing. Yeah, it's like there's nothing. There's like blank. It's like a blank space. You know what I mean? And nothing, not in the sense that they don't feel anything, but it's like almost like a shock. They don't know what to do. They're like. How do you say that? It's like a... <clears throat> oh, f why do I don't get the English words? Oh, today it's like... Why am my English is not coming, guys? I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. <clears throat> I'm feeling this like numb. Yeah, let's call it numb. Numb is the best description English word that comes in my mind. And Swedish, um, you know what comes to my mind? Um, because today I looked at um, a picture on the internet and um, suddenly, you know, there was, um, I was scrolling through the internet and there was this um, Ikea picture coming up. And Ikea is, <clears throat> you know, this, this um, company um, where you can buy stuff for your house, for your... Um, living room and stuff so it's like they almost lost you know like an interior i would say <laughs> it feels like as if they feel sad because they lost your energy and your energy felt like home and it's like a shock to them and they feel numb that, that's how i can describe that's what what's coming in but they don't show this this is on the inside for other people it's that color and that's indifference yeah other people would not notice so look let's look at the numbers because i also look at the numbers i haven't looked at them yet i just got what i got in from spirit so <clears throat> the 18 is the moon color that's again confusion yeah numbness confusion um yeah and 433 three adds up to a 10 and a zero at the end yeah so it's this freezing in, and even Sweden, I mean, Sweden is in the north of Europe, so it's cold there, right? So they feel this freezing, they feel this, this losing of the energy, and they feel numb, they don't know what to do. So give me more insights, universe, into this person's feeling right now, <clears throat> without the energy of pile one. And I'm getting three random cards. I'm thinking if I should read reversals. I'm not really sure. If I need more cards, I'm taking them. I don't think I read reversals. Um, we have the Hermit. So that's the retreat, you know. That's memories for me. <laughs> and look at this. He has like a, um, this magnifying glass here. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that, guys? I don't want to burn my cards, but... <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's like he's looking closer. He's looking at memories. Maybe he's looking at pictures. Because the beach, as you guys know, the beach always means union for me and um, a happy time. Yeah? A m happy memory. So, they're looking... They're trying to find the source, they're trying to find out what went wrong. I'm feeling here with this card with the Hermit, it's always trying to find out what, you know, trying to find more information, trying to make sense of something. So I don't know what happened here, but it, lost, um, it looks like um, it happened out of nowhere or it happened suddenly. But it could also be that there was an omen already that um, you and this person knew you were going separate ways. And suddenly the waves came in, you know, this feels like the t suddenly the tide came in and yeah, they're looking at memories. They're trying to make sense what happened. <clears throat> the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, look at again. This is crazy. <clears throat> this is absolutely crazy. Yeah, look at this. The curtain calling the curtain fell down you see this see, she's standing and the curtain is closed and um this queen again is also looking and trying to make sense of the situation 
or maybe even having evaluated the situation. These two cards I'm feeling here um, is about evaluating the situation because they feel this numbness and trying to find out what went wrong or um, <clears throat> Yeah, we have the same color at the chairs, almost the same color as this color. You see this? So it's like they're watching their own movie. They're, they're reminiscing right now, guys. They're reminiscing. They're in their feelings. But they do that alone when they are not with people. Yeah, it's like almost as if they're binge watching movies and um, trying to get their mind off. <clears throat> That's what I'm also feeling like. Um, Going to the movies, doing something else to get their mind off. So maybe you see them round and about outside with their friends, trying, um, you know, to to distract themselves because otherwise they they come into this reminiscing numbness when they're alone, when they're for themselves. But they're evaluating. They're evaluating what went wrong. They're trying to find out. Um, or it's this feeling of okay, I have evaluated the situation. Um, I thought this was the best solution. So if this person parted ways on their own um, accord, then they evaluated the situation and they thought, well, that's the best what I can do at the moment. Yeah. And um, but, you know, they, they went their way. They evaluated. They thought that's the best to do. But now they're in their feelings, you know, they're they're um, because the time. Yeah. And look at here. Almost, yeah, it's not the same color, but it's again this blue. Look at this. They're reminiscing about the good times. Yeah, but look at this. Both of them are wearing masks. So there's something here that both of them, like you and your person, um, <clears throat> there was something missing, something that both of you couldn't show each other because they're wearing masks. Yeah, they couldn't show their true authentic self. So there was something missing here. With the Two of Cups, it's always a love card. It's always this friendship, this strong bond. So there, you know, this is an energy that's um, not going away easily. Yeah, this energy stays for a long time and there is love here. Yeah, there is love. So whatever the, um, whatever happened here, if it was fast, like a fast breakup, like something happened out of nowhere then they're right now evaluating the situation and <clears throat> yeah trying to watch like a movie trying to think of your relationship trying to find out what do i want do i love this person what was missing yeah this is what was missing what we couldn't give each other so this person reminisces about the good times that you had and we see here the bridge, yeah, this is a mending. And this, having this card as the last card, um, there is love. This person still loves you. This person is not fallen out of love. The decision, if they evaluated the decision, if they evaluated the situation and they made a decision to walk away, then it's because of stability. The Queen of Pentacles always thinks the most practical way she is not the, the queen i mean she's she's um she, how do you say that she's like wife material you know the queen of pentacles is always this uh, this woman who um has it all basically but she decides on what is best in the situations in a practical way not in an emotional way like the queen of cups the Queen of Cups, you would decide emotionally. But here, this person, your person, decides not from their heart space, but, well, also, but what is best for everyone in the situation? And that's what they're doing right now, or that, that's what they did. And that's why the decision was made. Yeah? Yeah, that's what's coming through, guys. Okay? But they're, they're numb right now. They're really feeling numbness so let's see <clears throat> i want to see one more card what is an advice for you my part one <clears throat> and i also want to see what is their next step towards this connection 
What is Pylon's person next step towards this connection? Okay, that was very... Okay, they cut. The 10. So what I can tell you is that... Um, I mean, it's it's pretty obvious that this person needs some time alone. So, um, again, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, I feel here in the situation they cannot do anything else than cut it out at the moment. Yeah, it could also be that they cut out their mind and focus on their work, because this is this card. Um, you know what? What comes in this 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 this. Um, <clears throat> You know, make hay when the sun shines, like this, this, um, concentrate on other things and try to take your mind off, try to work and try to take your mind off. So that's what I'm feeling. With the two of cups at the end, I don't think this person really cuts out, cuts you out. I think they cut off communication. Yes. Um, they cut off completely communication, I think. But the love stays. Let's look at the bottom of the deck because I want to look. Page of Swords. <clears throat> Look at this. Um, this Page of Swords is a little bit different. And again, we have this blue card here. Yeah. And we see this this Page of Swords decides. Um, he has a book in his hand. Yeah. So this is um, decides on knowledge. Yeah. He made the decision based on knowledge. But what we also see here, <clears throat> you know, is the angels and um this looks like the angels are in stone you see this here it's like the angels are statues it's not real angels like flying around you know so this almost feels for me as if they made the decision um not really with the help of the universe i'm feeling here that they maybe even ignored what the angels had to say or what the universe told them what they should do but um, they decided based on their own experiences and based on their own. Um, this is like this. The decision to leave here was an, a decision based on like if they made it, whatever happened. Um, it wasn't an ego based decision. This means that this person decided on their own experiences on on what they think is best in their own situation. Okay, because the page of swords, it's like this. <clears throat> almost this energy of I mean also they're they're still spying on you yeah the page of swords is also um you know always this card in the deck of still looking yeah so they're lurking around your social media still so they're not cutting you off completely but they might cut off the communication and focus on work to take their mind off this yeah so what is the advice for you pile one Okay, and it says harmony, and it's a very beautiful energy. And it says, I open myself to the divine being within me. I'm the image of God, thus I have the power to bring light into my life. I turn any darkness in me into something beautiful. In the absence of resentment, anger, or doubt, I find harmony. So, with that being said, pile <clears throat> one, the universe says that you know focus on yourself focus on your own harmony try to find balance back or bring balance back into your life try to find your own harmony um this connection is not over because we have the two of cups here um yeah at the moment you know there is no communication but <clears throat> um i'm feeling that the whole situation comes across very fast like a fast decision made of not really consulting you know that that's what's coming in i don't think this person evaluated the situation before if they did then they did that on their own like on the focus of their own um experiences on and on their own what they think is best or what they have known what they have learned um but i'm rather feeling here this is a situation that came abruptly and your person had to decide upon what is most practical, what is the best decision for everyone, basically. 
and um, but they're reminiscing they're in their feelings yeah but they don't show that to the outside world okay and you pile one you need to focus now on your harmony that's very important just do something um, focus here on bringing your inner light we see also here the light in the chakras I see this as the, um, the your body and here it's like the truth yeah the sword of truth and I feel you know the truth it almost looks like spiritual connection because of the crown chakra color here so um, with the love card here I feel this person is definitely coming back um, but maybe it 10 months yeah it needs time I mean um, we have also the page of Pentacles here uh, the knight of pentacles sorry um this is our turtle card you know like being very slowly needing time to process and everything so yeah <laughs> that's what i have for you pi one i hope you like this reading and i'm saying bye hello my pal two welcome to your reading i hope every one of my purple lights is here today let's get it guys so how is your person pile two how is your person feeling in separation when they're losing out on your energy how are they feeling so i'm shuffling first the pile <clears throat> so first of all i want to get a card from this um from my color deck in order to see and you guys know this one a lot of times or like you know a lot of times these color cards they are so cool for um yeah for like really seeing so i got this card already i don't know why spirit just i i first i wanted to do it like this but spirit just you know gave it to me <laughs> basically so guys let me see if the lighting is okay <clears throat> yeah. Oh. So I like our new decoration. <laughs> I hope you like it too, purple lights. So let's see. How is your person feeling in separation right now? <clears throat> Grass green. Hmm. This feels for me like um, they're moving forward. They're feeling like, you know, this grass green is when in spring, when the color comes up, you know, when this grass comes up, the grass color, when everything is beginning to, um, how do you say that? It's this feeling of, have you ever felt this separation is not far, guys. This separation is not long ago. We're talking here about some days, not a week even. It's like this feeling of exhaling, like, thank God is over like this. All right. But before you cut me off now and say, oh my gosh, what, they're happy to be away from me? Sometimes, guys, you know, um, we notice or we realize in a connection that the two people were not just meant to be for each other, okay? So for, in some cases, um, it feels like that with the 15 being here, yeah, because I looked also at this 15, that you guys had a very rough relationship, almost like a dependent relationship, like it was not easy, yeah? So it's this moment of exhaling. Also the 15 is the six, the lover's card, and we have the six here, so a lot of sixes, yeah? And this is a very, very strong bond, okay? So this, what happened here could be a ghosting, it could be something that happened very fast, and I'm not feeling this um, this breakup or this um, losing of, of you guys' energy is, is very um, long ago, yeah? 
because it's this first exhaling when something bad or something that really, um, not something bad, but something that was weighing on your shoulders is gone. This is what I'm feeling. It's almost as if they're saying, oh my gosh, I'm like free. You know, I, I don't have this burdening anymore. I don't know what was going on, but for them, it felt like some kind of burden. Yeah, because there was something toxic in the whole thing. But we have this little, um, I don't know what is it called. So there is some timing that needs to go by. And then we have two tents. So it will hit them harder. Yeah. Um, and this is not to saying so that you tell me, oh my gosh, purple, you know, they are happy to be free. And then, you know, why are they happy to be free? Or, or, or thank God it will you know, it will come back stronger later on for them. No, you know, we're not talking in, in, in terms like this, because this is not good. Some relationships are just sometimes toxic, you know, and it's sometimes even better to leave them. Yeah. And with a 15 here and the double sixes, for sure, what we're talking here, and it's my pile two, and my pile two is always the soul bond pile. So I'm definitely 110, 150, 180% is, is talking about the soul connection. And soul connection, guys, can be hard. And the moment you lose this energy, and that's where your person is in, the moment that you lose your energy, the, the moment they lost your energy, it's like they exhaled. They said, oh gosh, yes, I'm free. This is like the devil making himself free, you know? But then after some time, we have a double 10 and a double 10, it will like, you know, they, this will really be not, not like it will be feeling very sad. So, you know, let's see what else the universe is saying. Can you tell me how is Paltu's person feeling during the separation? What are they feeling? So let's see, guys. <clears throat> Choosing three cards. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So this tells me that, um, yeah, this is a faded connection. This is for sure a soul bond. We have a 10 again. Look at this, a 10. And with the Wheel of Fortune, this breakup happened abruptly, like out of nowhere. And this had to change. This had had to happen okay there was something going on here that none of you had control over with the wheel of fortune i can see that so the best way was to lose your energy and call me i don't know stupid or something but i'm feeling here at the moment they're free they're like feeling exhaling they're like yes because if you both of you would have hold, held on stronger at the moment, it would not work. It would have been even worse. Yeah. So there was something toxic that had to go. And that's why this breakup, whatever happened, this losing of each other's energy right now has to happen. Okay. This is a faded, a faded breakup. Can you call it like that? <laughs> so, oh my gosh. And yeah, we have the two of coins. And you see how these Atos. <laughs> my dog is knocking. And you see how these um you know the two the two flowers they're like closing off their energy. Yeah, it's you should not give to the connection at the moment. Yeah, pal two. These cards are so gorgeous and the eight of wands. Yeah. Okay, your person is feeling, um, can you see that? Yeah, I hope so. You see, we have the eight of wands here. So this is the first, how do you say that? Oh, I have to structure my words. How can I, how can I explain this? Um, whatever happened here, there was too much passion. We see this here with the 15. I see this here with the eight of wands. There was too much stuff going on. You see this here? It was like chaos. And the best way 
um, you know, if this would have been going on, um, whatever this was between the two of you, um, there would have been chaos. Yeah. So spirit ended whatever this was very, very abruptly. And that's why both of you are like exhaling at the moment. It's not long ago. It, it might be even some days. I'm not even thinking it's a week. And it's like, that's why they're feeling this Christ queen. It's like they're, they're free. They're feeling as they um, can walk over green grass, you know, like walking in spring. It's like this, this first exhaling after a very tough time because there was chaos. I don't know. It could be chaos in the around that um, they could have felt this passion inside of them and maybe could have not know how to deal with all this passion or with, with what's going on. There could have been a lot of forces from the outside coming at this couple, like coming at you. Maybe you had a relationship that was not wanted, you know, and a lot of people came at you and they could not handle this very well or they did not want to handle this. Um, that's why both of you closed off your energies and that's the feeling as if they're saying, yeah, there was no other way to end it at the moment. Yeah, they said, yeah, it had to happen. But we have like the 10, we have a two and an eight and a 10 and we have 10 here. So there are like four tens. And I mean, four tens, it's like it will hit them hard. And we also have the eight of wands as the last card. Um, this means that at the moment, yes, at the moment they're feeling exhaling, but six weeks, this is not six days, this is six weeks. I'm predicting that it will hit them hard. Yeah, it will really, um, with this, with this. Eight of Wands, they will, they will realize that they miss your energy like crazy. There was, there's this passion coming. And it's like uh, they feel, you know, at the moment they feel like free. But I feel like in, in, in six weeks, it's like um, they want to have contact with you again. I'm feeling it's like this person is even contacting you in six weeks again. This is like... Um, it's the moment of, okay, it was good that we let go because there was too much chaos. But then again, they they feel this magnetic attraction. And not long, you know. This is very strange. <laughs> Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, look at this. I mean, the tower. <laughs> look at this flame. I mean, so the tower happened very abruptly, you know. The tower, whatever you guys built up until now, um... Or at the moment, whatever this was, the flame was too high. You both were too high, meaning um, you both were like on drugs with each other. You know, it's like it was like such a crazy time, and um, you know that it was too much. And I don't know what this refers to, but here I see that you burned down a lot of things together. Because the two of you did that. Not only one person. The two of you. I feel here there was too much passion. And sometimes it's like this. Sometimes it's like when there's too much passion. The universe has to cut it down. Because it, it will burn the surroundings. And it's not good when the surroundings are burned. You know. <laughs> yeah. It would have destroyed too much. And that's why the, the universe took it out. And cut it off. But with the four tens here, oh my gosh. Let's see what else is going on. What is their next step? I want to get in now. What is their next step? What is Pile Two's person next step? Wow. Yep. 44. They're looking closer. You see all these. Um... <clears throat> and then we have the number 24, which is again a six. And the heart is here. Oops. So right now they're taking their mind off. Right now they're free. Right now they're feeling exhaling. Right now they're feeling um, good. But I feel here in six weeks, um, you know, there's the magnifying glass coming. And then they, you know, they are evaluating. I think then they come into this energy of thinking or, or really eval trying to evaluate the situation, trying to evaluate what w went wrong because the tower happened abruptly. And I feel that 
they don't want to let go. I feel they come even back in six weeks. I don't know. I'm feeling this an on off thing here. <clears throat> I really feel this an on off. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> so let's see. What is um, the universe advising you to do? Part two. What is the universe advising you to do? So I feel that uh, this breakup here is not lasting really long. Like the separation of you guys? Mm -mm. I think you guys are too much on fire. This is not lasting long. It's like almost like a decision that was make maybe even because you guys were too passionate, maybe you were like um <laughs> you know when you argue or something and you you guys are too passionate and then one goes and says, "Okay, I I just dump everything," you know? <laughs> and then they're, "Yeah, thank God, I'm free," you know? <laughs> and then the next day they're like, "Boom. Oh gosh, I need to go back," you know? That that's what I'm feeling here. I don't think there's a long separation. <laughs> There's too much fire. Look at this and both cards at the end. So this person will be set on fire like in six to ten weeks. <laughs> this is like a really faded connection. There's like so much fire going on. Like the passion, it's like crazy. It's like almost the universe had to cut the, you know? It's like <laughs> it's like they're burning everything down. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at this. So this is the advice for you. I'm light. So let's read it. I always have hope. No matter the ordeal, I have faith in a better future. I turn darkness into light. I open my heart to others and to God and I'm spiritual strong. I draw light to me and shine with all my being. So this means confidence. Yeah. The, the, um, we see here the yellow. Yeah. You need to know that you're supported by spirit. And you don't need to worry. Like, look at this fire. Like, there's so much fire going on here. Um, just have hope. Just um, don't worry at all. I'm feeling this person is contacting you very soon again. This is not over here. This is just a passionate breakup. Yeah? That's why they feel good. I don't know. I don't have an example, but... Um, It's like, you know, when you really argue with someone and, um, you know, sometimes you're like, oh gosh, thank God I'm, I'm out of this arguing and I'm done with that person. And now I have my life again. I'm going out and having fun. And then they're like, boom, then the passion kicks in again. Yeah. So focus on yourself. Be confident. You know, don't worry. You don't need to worry. This person is coming back very soon. Like, look at the fire. Yep. So that's all what I'm having, guys. Take care. Bye. Hello, my part three. I hope you like my new set up here. Welcome to your reading. So first of all, I'm going to um, shuffle the deck. So we're going to see how is your person feeling in separation. <clears throat> wow, this is a very strong connection. Feels like home, feels like family could also be something that um, something happened with family but we will see or their career maybe they chose their career over you <clears throat> so I'm gonna um, again draw one of these cool cards I li really love them how is part 3's person feeling in the separation right now how is part 3 person's feeling without without the energy of part three wow red card <laughs> Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> With this red coming up, guys, I'm feeling that um, 
I don't know, this emoji comes up with the eyes, like, you know, like, oh, duh, again. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> because of the tiger, but <laughs> it's like, you guys have not been separated for the first time. And <laughs> this is like an energy I feel here. It's like, it's like they showed, your person showed you the rec red card again, or you showed them the red card. You said, no, not like this, bye-bye. <laughs> I know you come back again, you know. That's why the 17 here is here. I feel this, you know, the, uh, this, the 17 is like this, um, I'm, I, I don't lose hope, you know. Hope is always there. Um, I know you will come back. It almost feels like this because the 14, when I see this card, it, this is like, you know, this connection is um, destined. Yeah, I'm feeling here that you know absolutely that this is destined and also they. <clears throat> but I'm feeling here almost as if maybe even the two of you are like, you know, this emoji like, oh, not again, duh, now I'm going for good, you know, <laughs> showed you my red card, I'm gone. <laughs> but like deep in your heart, you're like really hot for each other. Like there's love, you know, the red is also this love. It's like you show each other the red card, yeah, but they love you. It's like they're showing the red card and saying, I don't want it like this and I'm leaving because I don't like it like this, but I love you. <laughs> it's like so dumb. <laughs> but here we have the five and the six. Um, it's like they want change. And the six, it's like, um, and victory because they, they want success in this connection. I'm feeling here, this person knows that this connection will succeed. But it's almost as if in the meantime they show you the red card. It's like, you know, like in football. Kind of, I feel like soccer here, you know, where you have the red card and the yellow cards. And, you know, at the moment this person said, um, well, I'm hopeful that this connection is um, victorious and we will be together at the end because there is love. But at the moment my tiger is stronger than the lily because I see the lily here as the flower of this love. And the tiger of someone who wants to do what he wants. Yeah. It's like almost as if this person showed you the red card and said, no, baby, I don't want it like this. I'm leaving. Bye. But we see each other again. <laughs> we marry anyway. You know, <laughs> this is how I'm feeling. I don't know. That's so strange. Like, why would that someone do something like that? That's so stupid. <laughs> and that's why maybe you rolled your eyes, you know, because I see someone rolling their eyes. It's like almost foolish with a tiger lily because why should the tiger and the lily come together? That's like two opposite things, you know? <laughs> I know it's a flower. I know it's a birth flower even. Isn't it Cookie's birth flower? But <laughs> I feel the tiger and the lily are two different things at the moment. And at the moment they want to have their tiger, you know? <laughs> this is so funny. Let me see. What else can you tell me? How are they feeling? At the moment, how is part three's person feeling? So let's see more. Mm, yeah, nine of pentacles. See, this person is um is used to walking on their own. Like your person is used to walking on their own, and um you know maybe they couldn't be free because um you know this card always tells me that this woman is taming this bird. And maybe you were taming the bird too much. You know, maybe the bird wanted to be free again. And that's why the tiger in them said, nope, too, it's a red card. I'm leaving. It's almost like this runner energy, you know, like, bah, gone. Bye, baby. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah, but um, I see this person very independent. And, um, you know, they're focusing on their career. They're focusing right now on what they have already built up. And I'm feeling here right now that um, th with this red card, I'm feeling at the moment it's not possible for them to be with you. I don't know why that's coming through. They see the connection even in the future because I see here the 14 and the 11. That's like, and the five and the six, that's a change, but victorious change. It's almost as if this person said, well, it's red at the moment, but you know my love, I'm coming back. <laughs> Need to make money. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so stupid. But you know, sometimes I don't know what the situations are. Sometimes situations are like this and we cannot always understand our other pe person. Yeah, and he cut it off. That's the page of swords, you know. That's a very, very fast decision based on, you know, I said this in the other piles, based on his knowledge, based on, um, you know, the sword is too big for him. Look at this. You see this? The sword is much too big. So it's like, it's like he pulled the red card out of nowhere without even knowing why he pulled the red card. You know, that's the page of swords energy. It's the energy of... Um, this is my truth at the moment. I cannot give you any other truth, but it's a red card at the moment. I and look at this. He has this red cape. Um, yeah, I'm feeling here that your person was not ready to settle down, maybe even. Because this is a single person. This is someone who wants to be alone, like on their own or, um, you know, like someone that is not ready to settle down. Not ready to have a relationship. You know what I mean? They want adventure and they want to go out and they can't have a relationship right now or they don't want a relationship right now. They want to be free. And that's why they cut it off. And usually that happens when, when the love kicks in very fast. You know, like that's really like it is, you know. It's like when you really fall in love um, <clears throat> because the hope is here in the future. And if I see that, I know this person loves you. Yeah, this, the, this red also means they have love, but... It's a red card at the moment. Yeah, they want to be free. Yeah, two nines. Look at this, nine, eleven, nine. <clears throat> and we have the hope again here. Look at this. So I'm feeling here that this person strongly is following their advice. So they got in some kind of vision maybe even. But they cut it off fast. It's almost as if they had a dream that they had to leave something behind and then they left. You know what I'm seeing? It's like they had this um, this dream, this 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 vision, and then this because of that they said, "Okay, I need to go. Can't stay here." Or if someone else told them something, you know, the, the hermit could also be an advisor, like a person that told them, "You'd better leave now." Or something bad will happen. Or I don't know. You better leave now. Maybe a friend told them this. You better leave now. Because maybe otherwise. Yeah, I don't know what, what happened between the two of you. Or why this is. But I feel even there was an advice to leave this behind. So maybe they didn't even pull the card by themselves. Because the Page of Swords could... Um, also mean sometimes that they talk to others and let others overrule their decision. Yeah, that others told them. <clears throat> but this co correlates with this, not so good with the, the this card because this person is very independent. They usually do their own decision, I'm seeing here. So I'm feeling rather here they consulted either their experiences or themselves or yeah, maybe even talked to others, but made their own decision. I don't think they over were overruled. I think this person just decided really fast. Yeah. But in both cases, the hope is here. So they, they come back. They want to come back. And on the bottom of the deck is the magician. Yeah, manifesting. Wow. And look at this. We have the infinity symbol. So this means for me that this connection is always with them. You see this here? The connection is always with them. They, they manifest. You are the one person for them. Yeah, that's why it's red. It's love there. <clears throat> but um, with the magician also, I'm feeling that this was their own decision. It was not overruling. And it's they want to manifest something else right now. Yeah, with a manifesting card here, I see that um, it's almost as if they want to put you on hold, I'm feeling here. And this is not something, you know, I don't know. You can wait on that, but you don't have to. I always say when we're waiting on our divine counterpart, it's not that we're sitting around and waiting. It means, you know, we're hoping that one day there is a chance again. But, and some of us like me, you know, we don't go out with other guys or looking for another partner, but we still have our own life you know and we still make our own experiences but um, from like 
what I see here, this, this person, your person made their own decision. They might have gotten um, advice, but at the moment they don't see this connection with the red card here. I feel that they want to manifest um, other things at the moment. Yeah. It's like they don't want to be tied down in a connection or relationship right now. Or maybe a relationship overall is not possible. I don't know. What, what's with them that they can't have a relationship and they pulled the red card you know I can't bye <laughs> let's see what's their next step <clears throat> or they don't want you know some some people just don't want a relationship they just want to stay single <clears throat> okay um this is the knight of wands <clears throat> yeah they're really passionate about you they're really passionate. <clears throat> this card um, also means discipline. They really have to discipline themselves with the 11 here. You, we see here 11, 11. So this is a very strong, like you guys have a very strong connection. And with this whip here, being here, I also feel that they pun almost punish themselves. You know, it's this feeling of, why do I always have to decide like this? You know, it's like actually they want this connection and they wish it would be their friend. So this tells me that they wanted this or they want this, but they can't. Maybe it's an outer circumstance because, you know, why should, why should they not be in a connection with you? But there's something here where they have to discipline themselves or someone else put the web on them. You know, <laughs> I don't know. It's like almost as if someone said, if, if, you know, like this energy of parents um, telling you to what, what to do and what not to do. You know, it's like you can't be in a relationship right now because you have to focus on your career or you can't be in a relationship right now because, um, you know, you want to reach that or you travel a lot or you don't or I can't be in a relationship right now because I don't want um, long distance connections or long distance relationship and you guys would have and that's why you know it's like they they're very disciplined they have all this passion but they keep that yeah a very disciplined person they they go what they go their way and they manifest whatever they want yes but um it's almost as if they know that they are a power manifester and they say, well, I want right now, I have to discipline myself because I want to focus on this and that. But and but I will um, manifest this connection back later. This, this is what I'm getting in. This is strange. So let's see what the universe is advising you, Pile 3, here. What is the universe advising my Pile 3? Nope. What is the universe advising? Okay. <clears throat> wow, peace. So it says, I'm unwavering in the face of fear. I come to my senses and embrace challenge. I'm determined to think with gentleness and calm. I find inner silence and become a manifestation of peace. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you probably are right now very much like as I said before I saw this rolling eyes it's like you say what's wrong with that person why why do they have to run away all the time I don't understand and maybe you want to rebel against maybe you want to call them and put all the s on them you know <laughs> don't do that the universe is saying make peace with whatever the decision was make peace with um with whatever this was um, because I see that they're coming back. But it takes a longer time. We have twice the nine. Um, and we have 11, 11 and a one. So one, two, three, four, five ones. And two nines. Wow. Yeah. There will be change coming again. You know, this person is a power manifester and they want to manifest this connection again. So they will come back. Um, make peace, like be peaceful with whatever decision was here. 
Um, also, don't have fear. Yeah, my part three. And be calm about the situation and be okay with it. Because that's the best decision. If this person is pulling a red card, just be peaceful. Just be okay with it. Because you can't do anything. Don't rebel against this, yeah? The advice is here not to rebel against this. Not to call them and ask them why, you know, why. Because it would not work. They will come back, yeah? This person will come back, but it takes a while. But, um, you know, the universe is saying, find peace. Um, there's something else going on here where you and this person, I feel here, have no control over. Okay, that's all what I'm having, part three. Bye. Hello, my part four. How you like my new decoration? Like it? So first of all, I want to shuffle the deck. So we want to see what are they feeling during your breakup, in separation, when you draw back your energy. How is your person feeling? What are their feelings? And I want to draw a card. As you see here, we have these really cool color-coded cards. And I'm reading how your person is feeling. Okay, what is going on in your universe? How is Path 4's person feeling? Okay, this card like fell out. <coughs> Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Let me tune in. What I can tell you from right from the beginning is with this purple color or you know mauve color and the seven um that's very very spiritual so i feel here there's a spiritual reason and they know that yeah i feel there's a spiritual reason and i feel your person is very spiritual i feel your person's very spiritual and um they know that the breakup kind of like had to happen um, we have the six right after, which is the lover's card and also which is the card of success. So it almost feels like as if they intended to do the breakup because um, the change needs to happen in order for you to come into union, the four. So they're feeling good. It's like, oh, not good, but they're feeling that this is meant to be. Like your connection is also meant to be. It's like... This person is almost like a um, like a spiritual teacher. I'm feeling here. It's like someone who has a very high wisdom, and they know that you guys have a spiritual connection, and they know that this breakup had to happen. The separation has to happen. The pulling away of the energy has to happen in order for you to come into union. That's what I'm getting, and that's why they're hopeful. They're trusting in the universe. That's what I'm getting. They're trusting that this was the right decision, not by any one of you, but by the universe, okay? That's how you're feeling. So let's see. What else can you tell me about Path Force person? How are they feeling? And I'm getting three cards. So let's see. Wow. The 13, and look at this, we have the 13 right at the first card. So, yes, look at this, and um, this death card looks right at the grip. So, there's a transformation going on in this connection. Um, you guys are not separated, yeah? I almost feel as if um, there's already kind of a union here, where you guys are in spiritual union, but um, you guys have a hard time in the 3D. And that's why maybe it's not the first time you guys break up. Maybe it happened um, four times or three times, I'm feeling. And you, you broke up and came back together again, maybe three times, I'm feeling. But um, your person, look at this, they're pregnant. That means they, they already know right now that you guys um, will come together again. There is a new beginning coming. And they know that um, this is for enlightenment. This breakup is for enlightenment. It's necessary. It's made by spirit to grow for the both of you to come into um, a 3D union. 
It's a very spiritual. Sp yes, look at this, the star. They even think like a person even feels or thinks that, um, you know, there was too much muddy water. I'm getting here. There's too much things that were going on for the both of you in the unseen. Yeah, there was something going here on which was not seen where you you guys could not see what was going on maybe behind your back or, um, you know, maybe one of you couldn't open up really much. You know, there was something here where you guys were stuck in the mud. I'm feeling you guys were stuck in the mud. And the best thing to do or the best thing that could happen, it's like this person here, Path 4, your person thinks that um, this breakup right now, this separation, let's not call it breakup because here you guys don't have a breakup. You have a separation. And you have a separation of energy because this is my spiritual pile here. It's almost as if Path 4's person is feeling that this spiritual breakup, let's call it like this, is necessary in order for you to come into a very, very good union. Wow, this is crazy, the moon. Yeah. It's like they're f they followed their intuition. Your person is following their intuition. They're confused, yes, and they're trying to see. This is a very spiritual connection, like three major arcana, the, the, the death, the star, and the moon. Yeah, this is crazy. This almost feels like it's destined to be. Um, there is a new beginning. You guys are not in separation, um, like not in breaking up. You guys are always united already. This is a very spiritual connection. Wow. And your person can see that there is a new beginning already. They know. And that's why this. it's almost as if there, it's okay. We have the same color here with the purple. They're trusting their intuition. They're walking their path the same as you. Let's see the, the page of wands. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, it's almost as if they're feeling un un unbothered. You know, they, they're having your contract. Like it's almost as if the contract is in your hands. Like, you know, you guys know that you have a spiritual contract. And, um, you know, this, whatever this is called in English, this always reminds me of these K-dramas because they always sit on, you know, they, when they get to know each other, they always sit on this thingy. They always sit on there and talk. I, I think that's really cute. But I've never seen this in Western dramas, you know, or in Western movies. It's like only when you watch K-drama or, um, you know, series from... <laughs> And they're always sitting there and talking. It's so cute. I really love this. So it's almost as if um, your person knows about that you guys are in love and that everything will be all right and that there will be a new start coming because the page of wands passionately ventures out to find other ways to make the contract possible. So it's like they're concentrating on their own things right now, what they're passionate about. Maybe they do art. They're concentrating on their hobbies, okay? But they know you will come together again. This person is following their guidance, yeah? And they feel as if um, the breakup or the separation is needed in order to make the union better because um, with the moon and the star card here being both with these shallow waters, with these waters where you cannot see, it's like some, some unseen things were going on that you had no control feel here. So let's see what is their next step. What is Pathforce's next step? <clears throat> Communication with the owls, with the owls. Um, yeah, it could be that they're consulting. Um, you know, like like a couple, like friends. You know, they're talking to friends about this connection. Or with the owls, I also see this as your spiritual connection, yeah? That their next step is to communi communicate to you, um, maybe, maybe via telepathy. I don't know what's going on between the two of you, but you have some kind of communication here with the birds. There is communication in the darkness, like not many people can see that. So with that, I'm, I'm sensing that maybe you send each other telepathic messages or something, but you guys will communicate. You will guys will keep communicating. Okay, so it could even be that you guys are separated and you're talking like friendship. You have like a friendship 
or like a mentorship, like teacher student connection at the moment where I don't know, you guys send each other um, text messages with spiritual content, something like that, you know? I don't know. But this looks like as the both of you are supporting each other on your path alone. This is a very highly spiritual connection. Like, what the F? Like, this is really, really spiritual. Like, this is almost like union already. This is like union already, but you guys know that you guys have to walk on different paths at the moment. This is crazy. Yeah. It could even be that you guys are texting each other or communicating even sending um, DMs or, you know, like talking to each other on the phone and like really supporting each other, but knowing there has to be a separation right now. What's the advice for my path for? Crazy. What's the advice for my path for? Okay, this came out. Shining light. And it says, my desire to improve myself transforms fear into strength. I raise my thoughts about doubt and find faith in the goodness of the universe. I love and accept myself as a soul and I discover the light that dwells in me. Isn't it beautiful? It's like you guys are shining lights for each other. So universe is saying you really should concentrate on this spiritual connection, on your spiritual growth. And this is what I see exactly what's happened here. And maybe before, if you come here, you already know this because both of you are out. Both of you are already in union. Yeah. With the seven of pentacles, I also feel that um, you guys know that there is separation or you guys knew the separation was coming. You guys knew you would be separated again, but it's like you never lose each other. It's like you stick together like, like peas in a pot. <laughs> Don't you say that? It's like, you know, no one can separate the two of you. And if you can't be together at the moment, it's like almost as if you say, well, F it, you know, then we just write each other. <laughs> if we can't be together physically, then we just write each other or we just um, communicate with each other in some kind of way. Or, you know, we just go on our path and it's fine. It almost looks like as also if the owl is the one is flying away. And the other one stays there waiting and, you know, fulfilling their shi shining lights. Very beautiful. This is a, this is actually a pile how it should be. Yeah. This is like a teacher pile here. You would tell your student how a spiritual connection should work. Because in a spiritual connection, you know, twin flame, soulmate. Soulmate, not that much because soulmates are also, um, they don't have this, like soulmates have a strong bond, but it's not like a twin flame where... You really have to do these things in this life. You know, a twin flame couple, um, they have to do these things in order to transform karma or in order to find ways um, to make the things happen they signed up for. It's a contract. So it's almost as if you guys know the contract says you have to be on separate ways during the journey. But, you know, you it's as, as, if, as if you know, but there will come union before. That's union. The four will come, but at the moment it's not coming. Isn't it crazy? Wow, beautiful. So that's all what I'm having my pile for. This was short, but this was very, like this is the, the, the perfect pile here. <laughs> like, wow, what a couple here. I love this. That's all what I'm having, guys. Bye.